There are several ways to test for mycoplasma hyonemoniae, and knowing which method is right for the job is key. In this video, we'll be going over how to take a tonsillar swab with the highest level of safety and accuracy. But before learning how to collect a tonsillar swab for testing, let's go over what you'll need first. For each sample, you will need the following equipment. Swabs, a mouth gag, laryngoscope, and a swine snare. Keep in mind, if you're conducting sampling on a piglet, use a smaller snare or the proper restraint gear. And for the best chance at a clean sample, make sure you have the following supplies. Personal protective equipment, a permanent marker, protective earplugs, disinfectant wipes, a caddy for equipment, a trash bag, storage bags for samples, a cooler, ice packs, a submission form, and mailing and packaging materials. The first step in sampling is identifying what your diagnostic objective is and the subsequent test group. Once you know that, select a pig for testing. Depending on your herd size, you will usually sample somewhere between 25 and 35 pigs. Place a snare over the pig's snout and behind its back row of teeth. Once the pig is under control, insert a mouth gag between its jaws. Safely controlling the pig can often be a two-person job, so make sure you have help. Use a laryngoscope to see into the back of the pig's throat. Scopes are used with a tongue depressor blade. If you don't have a laryngoscope, make sure you have an adequate light source and tongue depressor so you can see whether you're reaching the tonsils. Another alternative option to a mouth gag and tongue depressor could be a piece of two inch or five centimeter PVC pipe or one inch or 2.5 centimeter pipe for piglets. Make sure the edges are sanded smooth. Visually identify the tonsils. With one hand holding the scope or tongue depressor, use the other to reach deep into the back of the pig's throat with the swab. There are several different types of swabs, but rayon, like the one we're using today, is ideal, and cotton should not be used. Angle the swab up toward the ceiling of the throat and run the swab in a sweeping motion along both tonsils, making sure the swab is wet. Place the swab in the tube, close and label it, then place tube in a labeled bag. Fill out the submission form for that pig's sample. Mark the pig as sampled. Use disinfecting wipes to clean all tools that will be used on the next group of pigs. Anything that could possibly contaminate the sampling from one pig to the next must be replaced or cleaned. Once you are finished collecting all your samples, secure the tubes in the cooler with enough ice packs to maintain a temperature between 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit or zero and four degrees Celsius. Secure lid on the cooler with packing tape, include a completed submission form and the appropriate mailing information. You can view more videos on proper mycoplasma hyonemoniae testing in its various forms on the Beringer Ingelheim Swine Health YouTube page.